Cameron Jones here in New York, and I'm here to chat all things Descendants 2. Uh, this uh, film was designed for kids, tweens, and adults alike, and it's a story full of uh, adventure, heart, high-stake plots, twists, as well as empowering stories that are meant for audiences of any age. Disney uh, Descendants 2 comes from Disney, and Disney is a parent company of ABC. And in no particular order, I'm joined here with three of the stars from the upcoming film, movie, excuse me, uh, Dove Cameron, Sophia Carson, and China McLean. What's Hi, up? Hi. Thank you for joining us here today. How Thank are you guys? Thank you so much for having us. Awesome. We're fantastic. Yes, happy to be here. Perfect. So this is number two. So let's get into some of the characters. So Sophia, set us up with a little bit of uh, what this part two is about, what's happening in sure. or Oradon Prep. The, lo the Isle of the Lost. Yes. Isle of the Lost. <laughs> Isle of the Lost. Right? Yeah. What's, what's happening? So part two kind of starts where the first one left off. So the villain kids are living in Oradon. They're adapting. You know, each of us are kind of going through different struggles. Evie is very happy. Mal is miserable trying to be a princess. <laughs> so <Casual. laughs> Because so she runs off to the Isle of the Lost. And as her best friend, I'm like, I have to go save her so i go with the boys and with prince uh, ben and we go off on a beautiful adventure of friendship of love of self-discovery of self-love and um while we're there we meet a pretty bad and pretty incredible um new villain which is uma the daughter of ursula played by china and she kind of stirs up some trouble oh cool Love speaking her. of which uh china you joined for the uh cast for this first time you uh -huh. weren't in the first part yes. so how did this come to you did, were you excited did you see the first one uh, yes i mean i think everybody saw the first descendant every, <laughs> every, every child i talked to it yeah was freaking out over the four vks and i don't know it was such a huge project and kenny ortega was involved who i absolutely look up to all of us sitting here look up to him um so i definitely wanted to be a part of it in any way that i could and um disney called me with the second one and they were like we have this role that we want to see you for. So I went in a couple of times and I read with Dove yes. and it just, it felt really right. Now you and Dove have, uh, all of you throughout your career, you've played nice sweet characters and <laughs> other projects. What was it like being the, I don't want to say villain, but the yeah. bad, oh, the yeah, bad yeah, villain, right? Absolutely, right? you're right. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can definitely what, what, say that. What was that like for you? You're asking? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I mean, personally speaking, I think villains are the best characters to play. <laughs> I think that typically, you know, characters that are typically deemed good characters are pretty one-dimensional as they're written because I think as a society we kind of digest goodness in a very, like, simplistic form. Um, and with a villain, in the writing especially, you're able to kind of deepen up the dimensions, they're able to be more complex. Yeah. So I, th I honestly, I think it's so much more fun, especially when it's set to so music. It, so what you're saying, it's good to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> good is the new bad. He's waiting for that. <laughs> good is the new bad. So, um, we do sing a song called Good yeah. is the New Bad. Well, <laughs> the I was world. just going to ask, um, you guys did a music video, uh, Ways to Be Wicked. Yeah. And that uh, is the, it's like stuck in my head. Like the, Really? Yeah. yeah. It's so imprinted. We can switch to the dance moves later. <laughs> Please, we'll have to do a routine. What was it like to do the, the video? Like, I mean, it's so, it's just like the, the, the movie. So, like, how was that for you? How fun was that? There it goes. Oh, <laughs> it was amazing. I think, well, we kind of, they took clips from the actual film. Mm -hmm. And then they also mixed clips of kind of music video that we did, which was kind of fun. We just kind of, the four of us had fun. Yeah. We always have so much fun before. Except, anyway. okay, but when we started shooting that, we had no we idea what we know were doing. Oh, you we, just, <laughs> we showed up on this set and they were like, okay, we're going to shoot a music video today. And we're like, okay, cool. And we're like, like sometimes cool. that happens when yeah. we just show up and we don't know what's going to happen. But it was this like big set filled with like smoke and silk. And they were like, sing they the song. They just played the and we were like, song. what? We're like, uh, <laughs> we were like, just like sing the song. And cool. so you guys were just we doing did your own. Two takes. We did two takes. Two takes. And we were like, they're not going to be able to use any of this. And we, I think it turned out really cute. It did. So it was you were so just cool. all just uh, improv? Is yes, 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 that's all Total improv. improvisation. Like, we were like, uh, okay, we're going to do good. this. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. But it, they layered it really well. Yeah, they did. They did. The editing was great. So with the, the success of the first one, was it, was it, did it come to you as a surprise? Did you know what you were a part of? Did you? Um, I think you always hope yeah. that it's going to do well, and, and especially with something like this, I think it's yeah, very absolutely. formatted to be, you know, to have a sequel to be built upon. Mm -hmm. um, but you never really know until until you see how audiences react. 
amazing. Coming into the second one, I, I definitely didn't know what I was stepping into. And Definitely. You, you said that you had so many uh, like fans and people that you knew that were yeah. like, oh my God, you're going to be in the second one. What was that yes. reality for you? Well, I mean, when you have kids dressing up as Mal and Evie and the different characters in the movie for like Halloween and like having birthday parties, like descendants birthday parties, like oh. that's crazy, you yeah. know? Crazy. And um, I don't know, coming from Disney, I'm around kids a lot. Yes. I'm around, you know, like meet and greets and just meeting them in everyday life. And they all love Descendants. And so they were like, you're going to be in the second Descendants. We're excited. <laughs> you know, I have to just disclose, I'm so distracted because I've seen you in so many different films as oh, a little girl. It's so, so as, true. So as I'm seeing you now, right, I'm, I'm listening to your voice. I'm Fan like, girling. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, she's really grown up. Oh, um, you're so sweet. Whole... In a good way? Or <laughs> no, like you have. You have yes. really grown up so nicely. So, so that sweet. transition to uh, now growing up, you're 15, 16? I'm 18 18, now. oh my god. I know, isn't it crazy? It's People cr still think I'm 15. So like, how, how has that, that, that trajectory have been for you? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, it's been crazy. I've been acting since I was five. So now, I mean, I feel like it's just a way of life. She's like, wow. <laughs> it's just like a way of life. That's all I know. So I really appreciate you saying that. Oh, no Thank problem. you. <laughs> You're so you sweet. had uh, three movies, a TV show, two guest roles, and music coming. That's good. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you out for? What do you think your angle is? Um, just in general, I just want to play strong female characters like Uma and um, like Mal and Evie, that's all I want to do. And um, especially as a young African-American girl, I think that it's important to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I love what Descendants did and what Disney did with this film because it's so important to look on screen and see somebody like you, somebody that you can relate to. And when you look at like the photo, like the photo right here, it's just beautiful. It's so diverse and it's it's amazing. So, yeah, I just want to play strong female characters. Amazing. Between the three of you, you guys probably have like close to 20 million followers Good. online. It's, it's insane. Yeah. And with the success of this, I can only imagine that it just propels you further. Um, how, how has that changed any of your uh, communication with fans or given you more responsibility? Has that, has that impacted you in, in any way? You know, I think we have a really beautiful responsibility. You know, not only do we get to do what we love every single day, but we also have, you know, so many young girls and boys and just kids all around the world who follow us and who, in a way, look up to us. And that's a really beautiful responsibility that I think we all take very seriously. And I think in all that we do and everything that we say, we think of them first. And I think, you know, social media can be such a beautiful platform and tool to communicate with them and, you know, share our experiences, share the moments that, you know, we all share together. And then to be able to share with the world, it's, it's, it's a really special tool. Yeah. Amazing. And you both sing and, I mean, so talented. Thank you. Is that part of acting for you? Is that separate? How does that fit into your, like, your talent? How did you... I've always felt like they kind of hold hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think especially with a, with a franchise and project like Descendants, um, I think one elevates the other. I definitely have an easier time getting highly emotional when we're doing the musical elements of the franchise. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's interesting. I think, you know, when you sing a song, you're in essence performing yeah um so i think acting and singing come really hand in hand oh that's amazing and you recently sung um at the rdmas i did how yeah. was that experience for you that was surreal um i was able to host and perform at the rdmas and i performed for britney spears which was Dub came backstage <laughs> afterwards were and she was melting? like in tears. We were no, I was in tears. I kept she was like, like, do you really like, what just happened? <laughs> Before I went on stage, I remember thinking to myself, I just kind of flashed back to when I was six years old, listening to Hit Me Baby one yes. more time on my CD player, which doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> and that girl would have never in a million years thought that this would be possible. So to go on that stage dressed like Britney in honor of Britney, it was one of those pinch me moments I will never, ever, ever Has forget. Has she said anything to you or did you get any reaction? Well, I actually met her mom and dad and Jane. Amy Lynn performed with us and we all came out together mm -hmm. and they were just so her mom came up to my mom and spoke to her and held her hand and was like oh, don't ever don't ever leave her alone like stay mm -hmm. by her side and I was like oh this is so beautiful oh you know coming from such an incredible family and two such talented girls who have really marked pop music it, it meant a lot 
Oh, you amazing. did great, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, oh, my God. The music video was playing right behind us. Like, if I mess up one move, right. everyone's going to be like, oh, Sophia. How much uh, work went into that performance? You know, it was actually, um, I found out pretty last minute that I was going to perform. Oh, really? And um, so it was about two weeks before the RDMAs that I found out, and I started rehearsals a week before, and I was also hosting. So that week I was kind of balancing quite a few hats, but it was... It was really amazing, and I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I like try to rehearse as much as possible. But I got to work with her choreographers, which was really cool, oh, so and her musical director, so it was really special. Oh my god, that was exciting. Um, we're going to jump into some fan questions. I've got a couple for you guys. Uh, this one comes from Abigail S. <clears throat> Dove, this one's for you. Uh, do you ever wish you could cast a spell on people in real life? <laughs> and if so, what spell would you cast? I actually feel like I know the answer to this question, which is like maybe want, a little concerning. To yeah, <laughs> but I thought I knew you would have an answer to that. <laughs> yeah, this is the easiest question. Um, I've always sort of felt like so much of the world's conflict comes from like fear and mm -hmm. miscommunication and lack of like ability to actually um, articulate what we're trying to get across. Mm -hmm. um, in a very wide scale, anything big to small, and so I think I would cast a spell on everyone to be able to actually communicate their genuine like needs and wants and like sort that. of dispel conflict, like right? That. That's brilliant. Yeah. Right? I, I feel like yeah. it would solve so much. That, what, 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 did you guys have any? I mean, I would just cast want spell. food to just cast. appear. <laughs> be like spaghetti. Oh, China, China, Wait, China. ice cream. Spaghetti. I know you gave this complex, amazing answer. My That's all right. That makes me laugh. We got to mix it up. We got to keep it fresh. So um, this one's from Noah R. Um, Sophia. They say that uh, they love the way you slay the red carpet. Oh. Um, <laughs> Thank you. And you are their fashion hero. Uh, is it your own style, or is someone telling you what to wear? It's a great question. Um, I have loved fashion since I was a little girl, and I always wanted to be a big part of my career and a big part of who I am, so absolutely. Actually, I just started working with a stylist very recently. Before that, it was me, um, you know, going shopping, and my mom also working together with her, but I, I have a big say in what I wear, and it's, a, you know, really important to me, so that means a lot that she, that she likes oh, what I wear. that's great. <laughs> and uh, jumping back to the movie... Um, this one comes from Natalie J, and she wants to know what are you guys' favorite uh, characters from the Descendants? Oh, the, the, from the first one? Uh, either the first one, the second one. Favorite character? We got so many good ones. I, I like all, dude. They're all really well rounded. I was going to say dude. Dude's great. <laughs> the dog in it. Dude's a well rounded character. No, yeah. Nice. If, um, this is a separate question. If there was, I mean, we have Ursula's daughter, we have Evie. Mm -hmm. You know, if there was another character you would want to see, who would that be? He's I want to see Doctor Facilier's daughter. Yes, I mean, like, she's in. The, she's in the shorts. I really. My like sister her. actually voices her. her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah that would be so cool. And also, Doctor Facilier is such a crazy character. Yeah. Like I feel like we haven't. Or Alice in Wonderland's daughter. Right, Ali. Oh. Ali, oh, Ali oh, right? That'd be awesome. There's a bunch of characters that are in the in cartoon the shorts. shorts. Oh, okay. Did you guys ever watch Emperor's New Groove? Yes. yes. Yo, Yzma's son. Is that Yzma's son? Is that my son? <laughs> what? That would be so cool to see Yzma's son. You had that so perfect. Can yeah, you? she killed it. <laughs> no, I'm too embarrassed. Now I can't do it again. <laughs> can't it, was, it was spot on, girl. <laughs> so spot behind on. the scenes on the set, uh, what is that like for you guys? Uh, it's Disney. It's very fun. You guys, uh, just the three of you guys are just like so much fun. <laughs> What's it like when it's like the full cast together and everybody's there? Doug it's usually walks in with a boombox. Yes, yeah. yes. Actually, really? not a boombox. What am I saying? A speaker. A boombox. That's so Imagine. Amazing. Just like a boombox. <laughs> all like my soul. Actually, all playing music, music or just? Oh, no, playing just music. Just carrying it. <laughs> <laughs> just for effect. Um, yeah, I'm always playing music because Descendants is such a high energy like project. You have to keep mm -hmm. the music going. Does anybody like do pranks? Does any, is Kenny. Anybody? Kenny oh, loves yes. pranking. Kenny loves a prank. Oh. Loves a prank. Any fun stories? Probably. I, you know, we always get asked that, and I can't think of... I don't know. There was one. Trying, if only? Yeah, there was one that Kenny, like, wanted. It was towards the end of the shoot, and she was shooting a really emotional ballad. I was shooting the, <laughs> the only <laughs> emotional she ballad. Was, like, in tears, like, in this gorgeous And I was also, forest. in that take, I was crying. She was fully crying. 
And she was alone in the scene, so we weren't shooting. So she, Kenny called myself Cameron and Mitchell. Okay, but he's, and Boo Boo. You have to under, you have to <laughs> explain the context of people so they okay, don't make fun of me. Go for it. Go for it. Oh yes. my God. They, had, the they had walled off the entire forest uh -huh. yeah, so that we could keep shooting. It was a public forest. And so they all day had been shooing people away. And so I hadn't seen another human being in that forest <laughs> in like hours and hours. And then cut to. We hide like in the woods behind trees, and then they start taking. And then Kenny just gives us a sign the one they like, call action. And I thought I was being start... attacked by a bear. <laughs> I was <laughs> running after her. Something was coming and at she me was so dancing fast. Like a fairy. And then we have this take in bloopers, and she would like started running, and we we're like, no, it's us. And then she was like crying, That's laughing. Okay. <laughs> Something was That's coming wonderful. at me. She was really so fast confused. in my periphery. It was and great. I thought I was in danger. I thought I was gonna die. It was great. <laughs> So, thank you for emotionally scarring me. I will build you for my therapy, <laughs> Kenny Ortega. <laughs> it hilarious. was so mean. China, you seem to be uh, very just humorous and witty on your own. Do you she add is. to this, this oh, mania? Um, the, you mean like pranks or like... Pranks, <laughs> laughs, <laughs> jokes. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is such a fun set. I do remember when we were filming um, What's My Name. That was almost like big musical numbers, like, kind of introducing her character. And Kenny pulled us all aside, me, Thomas, and Dylan. He was oh like, come gosh. here, come here. And all the dancers, he was like, guys, <laughs> pretend you are injured in some sort of way because we want to prank the other choreographer. Like, so, <laughs> so we went on oh set, and I was like, Tony, I broke my ankle. And, like, everybody was like, yeah, man, I think I have a cold, man. I don't serious? think I can do this. Yes. <laughs> and it was like, we were supposed to be straight up Poor filming Tony. a dance number. He was freaking and out. And that's an intense, I can imagine why you guys could have possibly broken something. And right? And so what, what did he say? What did he do? I mean, he was just like, wait, <laughs> this is a joke, right? And we're like, no, no, Tony, seriously. I'm like, look at my ankle. It looks broken, doesn't it? It's broken. And so he's like, no, okay. So he was freaking out, and Kenny was somewhere laughing. So, yeah, Ken yeah we scarred him he for sure. He loves pranks. Wow. Yeah, he's is, awesome. Is there anything that you guys look forward to doing that you haven't done yet in terms of acting or any aspirations? I really want to do Broadway. Mm. Yeah, I did. I did Hairspray Live, and ever since you I did, did that, live, yeah. I've had the live bug, and I can't get it out of my system or my brain. It's something about being live. I hear from yeah. performers a lot. It's a different call of yourself to deliver. It is. You it's really say special. the same? Um, well, I, I love performing and you know music. I've been releasing my music this year, so I would absolutely love to you know release an album soon, which I will, and go on a world tour. Mm. And in terms of films, I would. Um, I would love to, you know, maybe tackle a, a character like Angelina Jolie, Girl Interrupted, something dark like that, or something like Moulin Rouge, just to, you know, really That's challenge yourself. And I would, I would love that. Mm, I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I want to do. My dream, and my whole family knows this, was to play a superhero. And I'm yes. actually, I actually yes, am. Yes, she is. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm oh, playing yes, one yes, yes. Um, for Black Lightning on the CW, so I'm really excited about that. But that's been my all-time yeah. dream. So, that's, yeah. that's a good one. Like, I just I saw Wonder that. Woman, and I'm like, that would be the coolest that thing was, yeah. ever. Was a that was so such beautiful. a great so movie. Great. Oh, I want to see it in 3D. Have you guys haven't seen, seen it in 3D? No. Or? I didn't see it in 3D. I want to see it in 3D because, I mean, it's so it's so powerful it's so visually without gorgeous. it. And then someone told me to see it in 3D, and I'm like, I, it's incredible. And she's just amazing. She is. She's so cool. empowering. Yeah, I love her, Amazing. man. We should all go see it together. I yes. think we'll all see it one more time. Hopefully. I would do that. Mm -hmm. So now that the, the film is uh, coming out July 21st, yes. uh, across actually six networks, six. Uh, we have Disney Channel, ABC, Freeform, Disney HD, Lifetime, and Lifetime Movie Network. We're not playing around here, are we? No, no. we're not. <laughs> so you basically have to tune in. It's, it's no excuse. It's, you can't get away from us. It's totally available. <laughs> Um, I just want to uh, thank you guys for joining us here thank today. Thank you so much. Um, the movie comes out again July 21st. Uh, please to, uh, check them out as well as the other cast that aren't here with us today. Um, thank you for joining us. We, uh, thank you guys. Thanks, thanks for having, for us. having us. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you so much. Um,